sometimes it can happen that you have an idea you have like a zeal you have like a, a, a fire inside of you that you just feel like you have to do it because if you don't do it you cannot be at peace you have to put it into implementation it's god is the fire of god within you that that push you to do it you would think that no it's my capacity it's my understanding it's my degree of knowledge it's because i'm an engineer i have diplomas no it's not that it's god who is doing marvelous things to you and as long as you rely on god as long as you pour out your you 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 take your strength you pull up your strength from god you will go right higher and higher and higher you will go from glory to glory but here comes if you forget god if you make the mistake by thinking no it was by my strength that i that i overcame all this that i i wished this level it was by my power the day you start seeing as that god will leave you and that will be the start of your failure you don't want that so in all that you do recommend yourself to god believe that god is your help he says in the book of John, chapter 15, verse 5, that I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. God is saying that without him, you cannot do anything. And if you even throw back to your life, how you were before and how you are right now you will see that it is god it's not you this diploma this job everything that you have it's not you it is god without god you cannot do anything without god you can do nothing that's why you have to rely on god you have to get connected to god because the day that you lose that connection that is the start of your failure and you don't want that nobody want that keep trusting in god keep believing in god keep believing that it is god that gave you the capacity to do what you are doing it's not because you have the strength god created us to multiply but to multiply he he, he created us at his image yes and he created us to multiply but to multiply we, you have we need to have our roots in him yes we need to have our roots in him where are your roots you, you